Well, welcome to this video. Uh, again, we're just looking at the Quran, and you know, so that there's no dispute about you know what's written. You got all the different translations into English here, and uh, basically. We'll just read it out, and it just says, uh, Lo, God says, O Jesus, verily I shall cause thee to die. Now this is obviously God speaking to his only begotten son, as it states in the Bible. And shall exalt thee unto me, and cleanse thee of those who are bent on denying the truth. Aha. Uh -huh. And I shall place those who follow thee far above those who are bent on denying the truth. So as twice it's mentioned denying the truth. Unto the day of resurrection. In the end unto me you all must return and I shall judge between you with regard to all on which you were wont to differ. Just let's read that last part in the different translations. Then to me shall be your return, and I shall judge those matters in which you have been disputing. Uh, then it says, the third one down, Then unto me you will all return. I shall judge between you as to that wherein you used to differ. So again, there's a, there's a dispute that seems to be taking place here uh, between Jesus and people who deny the truth. Okay, I wonder what, what truth this is. Then shall you all return to me, and I will judge between you of the matters wherein you dispute. Okay. So, that's interesting. I mean, it seems to be just after here the resurrection um, of Yeshua. And uh, that God is talking about, he's going to judge those who are denying truths certain truths that Jesus was speaking about um, and his followers as well those who follow thee so his followers are speaking about a certain truth okay and it's being denied by certain people and that God says he's going to judge the, the final situation um, there'll be a resurrection of course of the of the just as it says in the Bible Okay, so very interesting. Um, so this again is speaking of a, a death and a resurrection of, of Jesus Christ. We know there's going to be a, a complete resurrection. It's got, the Bible talks about two different resurrections, but we know that at the end of the age there, there will be a resurrection. Now this is the other scripture. Um, sorry, or verse from the Quran. 1933 and 34 and uh, this is Yeshua speaking or they call him Isa in the Quran isn't that lovely and peace on me I mean the let's let's just talk about the real name of of the Messiah um, in Arabic we'll talk about that in a second um, I believe it's Yisha the Arabic Yisha and the Hebrew Yeshua mean deliverer, salvation, okay? But we'll look at that in a second. And peace on me on the day I was born, on the day I die, on the day I shall be raised up to life again. This is Jesus speaking. Such is Jesus the son of Mary. This is the saying of truth about which they dispute. Aha! So we see here in verse 3, there's, there's, there's a denial of truth there's uh, things that are being disputed and that in the end God is the one who, who judges all those who dispute against the truths that Jesus Christ speaks of and now this is talking um, of Jesus himself speaking of his death burial, resurrection which, which the Bible testifies to, which in fact the New Testament speaks of. 
um, just as it's prophesied then many different times in the Old Testament. Okay? And remember that the Jews, um, they didn't bear witness to this except the apostles bore witness to it. So there is a distinction between Jesus' apostles or followers, okay, and just the Jews. I mean, you've got here, but they, the Jews, were deceptive and Allah was deceptive, for Allah is the best of deceivers. So I, I, this is a verse here from Surah 3, uh, 54, 8, 30. Okay. Hallelujah. Um, and so, we know that uh, Jesus talks about the father of lies um, and Satan. And so, it doesn't say that the father of Jesus in the Bible was a deceiver. It doesn't say that at all. So again, the, the Quran gives different testimonies about, about Jesus Christ. And this is why um, many Christians dispute that Allah is in fact a different God from, from Jesus Christ's Father, um, who's called I am that I am, the Yote Vav He, is, is the, uh, the Father of Yeshua, of Jesus Christ. In fact, Yeshua said to himself that I come in my Father's name, but you know me not. Another shall come in his own name, him you shall receive. He, he says this to the Pharisees. The Pharisees themselves weren't followers of Yeshua but they were Jewish okay but uh, of course the just like in the story of Joseph um, Joseph brothers rejected um, um, Joseph to start with because they were jealous of him and and this is the reason that the the, the Pharisees rejected Yeshua because they were jealous of him um, they were just jealous of him, of who he was, the works he did, the things he said, um, the fact that he seemed to have more authority than them. Uh, they didn't like that at all, okay? Um, you can read through this. Uh, I'll leave the links below. But you can clearly see that the dispute that's being disputed is Jesus resurrection from the dead okay Jesus resurrection from the dead that is what's being disputed in the last days and uh, yes God will judge the situation and um, one must know that so although the Quran isn't a very accurate depiction it's not a consistent depiction about Jesus life death, burial, his, his resurrection, his exaltation to God's right hand, even though it says it here, there are certain verses in the Quran which testify to this, which Muslims are, are very uncomfortable about. They, you know, just like there's uh, um, scriptural verses in the Bible which Catholics are uncomfortable about, or about which, uh, whichever denomination you're part of, if you quote from the, the book of Romans 3.31 that makes a lot of uh, Christians very uncomfortable because in fact it, it, it suggests to them they should be keeping the, the Ten Commandments according to faith in Jesus Christ but they don't like that they don't like that verse you see so it's just like this with the Muslims you show them verses like this and this is from their own book and it's, it's testifying about Christ's uh, resurrection this is the saying of truth about which they dispute, okay? And so this is very, very interesting, um, indeed. And here we see, um, in other parts of the, the Quran, uh, we've got Surah 287, we gave Moses the book and followed him up with a succession of messengers. And so this is why the Muslims must study the Torah, this is, this is why they have prayers in the new moons, because it states in the Torah about the, the old calendar which the, the world had up until about the Roman Empire was a, a lunar-based calendar. So even though the Muslims just have a, a lunar calendar um, and the Catholics and whatnot, they have the solar calendar. You know, God's calendar is a solely lunar calendar. It's uh, both of them, because it says in Genesis... Uh, one sixteen, 
uh, to 18 that God uh, created uh, the sun, moon and stars for days, days, years, for signs and seasons. Um, hallelujah. And so they must read the Psalms as well. Um, as it says here in the Quran, Surah 4, this is the verse. And then it also says about the Gospel, It is he who sent down to thee step by step in truth, the book confirming what went before it, and he sent down the law of Moses and the Gospel of Jesus before this as a guide to mankind, and he set down the criteration of judgment between right and wrong. So the Gospel of Jesus Christ is about his life, his death, and his resurrection. Just as it says here. Blessed is the day I die. Blessed is the day I'm raised up to life. It sits at the right hand of God. This is what they dispute about. This is what the Muslims dispute about. And God shall judge the situation. In fact, what the, what the gospel says is that all those who accept Jesus Christ, that the, de the death, uh, the burial, the resurrection that he did um, at Calvary, if you accept that blood sacrifice for your sin, what you're actually saying is that you've, you're acknowledging that God sent you a lamb to take away your sin and that, uh, that, that Yeshua, or Jesus Christ, is in fact the Messiah. As it also says in the Quran as well, okay, that he is the Messiah, which I can show you. Okay, as it says here, um, I believe it's the Surah 4, Woman 169. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, it says Isa in, in, in the Arabic, but it should say Yisha, which means deliverer. The son of Mary was God's messenger and his word committed to Mary. His word. It's also called the word of God. There it is here. 171. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, God's messenger and his word. And so he's referred to in the Bible, of course, as the word of God. He's the only one who didn't sin. In the Quran, the only messenger who didn't sin, who didn't kill anyone, and in fact kept all the Ten Commandments the way they should be kept. And because of his uh, righteous, innocent blood that was shed on the cross, this redeems a soul from death and hell. It takes you out of Satan's grasp, even though Satan, you know, is going to be um, pretty much doing some bad things as, as much as he can, as long as you're on this earth. And that is the truth. You know, your life, in fact, doesn't get easier if you're a true born-again Christian. Just look at the patriarchs' lives. You know, forget your Joyce Myers and your Benny Hens. These guys are far from God's kingdom. And they, in fact, are doing sin all the time. And they, in fact, are not even born again, I, I don't believe. I don't believe they're even born again. How you can make millions of dollars um, out of the sheeple and still state that you're a born-again Christian and sin all the time. Um, even the Bible says that, um, you know, if you if you go on in your life and you hide your sin and you don't confess your sin, then uh, you shall not prosper. That's what it says, you know. And so, uh, sadly, you know, a lot of Christians relate prosperity to money. But Jesus Christ, in the parable of the sower, remember, he talks about uh, the seed or the life seed within a person being strangled by the cares of the world. And that's because people are, uh, you know, pursuing worldly things. And that the, the true seed that's given to us from the Lord is an eternal seed that's from a different kingdom from this world. And that uh, the way we live our life is just uh, com should be far completely different from the way this world is. But sadly, sadly, a lot of Christians still conform to to the things of the world um, and aspire to them as well. It's very sad that that's the case. Um, and I keep telling Muslims when I'm out, you know, try not to look at this, the Christianity or the churches. But if you're very consistent in studying the scriptures um, and you can see that the Bible is in fact far more consistent than, than the Quran is because uh, the Quran um, does make a lot of uh, contradictions. Um, 
which I would say that the, the Bible has no contradictions according to the understanding that you're given, of course, the interpretation that you put upon the words that you read. Um, hallelujah. And so I hope this has been a blessing to you, and you can download this flyer if you want at endtimes777 on scribe.com. Thank you for listening, guys.